Hello, welcome to Easy Learning with Teacher Roses. Today's lesson is English 3, Quarter 1, Week 3, Writing a Diary. Objective, write a diary entry using the appropriate format and parts. Let's recall, most of the stories you have read or listened to, have different endings. Sometimes the endings, are happy or sad. They could be exciting or unexpected. However, you could alter or change the ending by, providing another one. You could base your ending to the plot or the events in the story. The ending could be directly stated or the ending is mentioned in the story. It is part of the story. It could also be implied or indirectly stated meaning. The ending is not written in the story. The reader is left to give or provide the ending. It could also end with a twist or with an unexpected conclusion from the usual or expected ending. Let's understand. This is a sample diary entry. Take a look at its parts and how it is written. Saturday, May 16, 2020. This is the day and date of the diary entry, 6 o'clock a.m. This is the time. Dear diary, this is the salutation. It is Saturday. It means family bonding time. I am super excited because father bought vegetable seedlings. We are going to plant them in empty soda bottles and ice cream containers. I am sure my brothers and I will enjoy this activity. I will tell you more about it later. For now, I got to go. This is the body of the diary. Theo, this is the name or signature. A diary is a record of one's personal experiences, thoughts, and feelings. It could contain your past events and future plans and activities. Usually, it is written and arranged in chronological order. It is a daily record of your activities and things you do at home and in school. It could also be a record of the memorable events as well as places and unforgettable experiences. A diary entry is usually written in first person, making use of the pronouns I and we because it is a personal story or experience. The language used in writing is simple and informal. It makes use of the simple past and future tenses of verbs as well as present perfect tense. The diary entry primarily starts with a sentence describing the day's events or one's experiences. Discussions or explanations as well as reactions may be added to the details in the entry. Parts of a diary entry A diary entry has the following parts. 1. Day and date. 2. Time. 3. Salutation greeting. 4. Body details of the event or activity. 5. Name or signature. Let's try. Identify the parts of the diary entry in each number. Here are the correct answers. 1. Dear diary greeting salutation. 2. Richard name or signature. 3. Thursday, July 16, 2015. Day and date. 4. 1.47 p.m. Time. 5. The championship was really an exciting game. 
The gym was full of enthusiastic fans. Body Let's analyze. Direction Write a diary entry using the details given. Answer Sunday, June 14, 2020, 6 o'clock p.m. Dear Diary, What a great day I had today. The whole family went to the park after hearing mass. We did a lot of enjoyable activities. We rode the bikes and went around the park. We also played in the swing and seesaw. Mother prepared and bought delicious meal for all of us. We ate together in the picnic mat under the tree. Father took a lot of pictures. It was an unforgettable and happy day, Charmaine. Let's try. Write a diary entry about your events during the day. Be sure to use the correct format and parts. Here is a sample diary entry. You can use this as guide in making your own diary entry. Thursday, August 29th. 2024.6 to 10 p.m. Dear Diary, Today was a fun day. In the morning, I went to school and had English class first. We learned about similes and metaphors, and I even got to share my own example with the class. During recess, I played tag with my friends, and I was the fastest runner. After lunch, we had art class. I drew a picture of my favorite animal, a dolphin, and my teacher said it was really good. We also had a science experiment where we mixed baking soda and vinegar to make a bubbly volcano. It was so cool. When I got home, I finished my homework quickly so I could play outside with my neighbor. We rode our bikes around the block until it was time for dinner. I had spaghetti, which is my favorite. Now, I'm getting ready for bed. I can't wait for tomorrow. Good night, diary. Nikki. Let's create. Write a diary entry about your experiences or activities during the ECQ or GCQ. Be sure to use the correct format and parts. Here is a sample diary entry about the experiences or activities during the ECQ or GCQ. You can use this as guide in making your own diary entry. Sunday, August 2, 2020, 7 o'clock p.m. Dear Diary, during the ECQ and GCQ, I had to stay home all the time because of the virus. I couldn't see my friends or go to school, and I missed playing outside. I did my schoolwork online, which was a bit hard at first, but I got used to it. I also helped my mom cook and baked a lot of cookies. We spent more time together as a family, watching movies and playing games. When the GCQ started, I was happy to go outside again, even with a mask on. I learned to appreciate being with my family and staying healthy. Good night, diary. Nikki. That's it for today's lesson and I hope you learned something new today. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell, so you'll get updated when I post my next videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.